Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Jenkins Platform SIG meeting November 21, 2023. And today around the table, we have Mark Wade, Kevin Martins, and myself, Bruno Verhashten. Today, as always, we have one open action item. Then we'll talk about the Java 21 support within Jenkins. Uh, then we'll talk about the latest changes and the work in progress in the Docker images we supply. And just a quick agenda note, uh, we'll discuss that maybe in the end. I won't be able to host the December 19 uh, Platform SIG meeting. So if anyone is available to host it, you're welcome. So first thing first, uh, Blue Ocean Docker container. <laughs> so it's still um, outdated and maybe even dangerous to use. Anyhow, uh, we should find a way to announce it more than when we what we have already done uh, because it's deprecated you should not use it anymore um now on the java 21 support uh mark what about the progress on your jenkins enhancement proposal i saw earlier today that it was not it, it's merged um the github way but i don't know if that means it is um it's always merged Oh, I didn't oh, I know. I thought it. so. No, no. no as no. far as I know, it is not merged, and and I don't actually want it to be merged yet. So, it, if it were merged, you would see instead of JEP zero 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 at the top, you would oh, see a number like two hundred thirty eight. Okay, or... I was wondering. I don't know about the JEP. I thought that it was merged because it's part of the official repo, but that's not what it means when it well, comes to official JEP. Okay, right. In, in in this case, what you're looking, what you see actually is probably a view onto my repository, not even onto the and uh, onto the onto the official repository. Oh, uh, it's written or as, as part of the pull. Yeah, so you're viewing the pull request. So what oh, you're seeing okay, is the pull why. request, and you're seeing the my pull bad. request in context, which is good. And so this, the more work that needs to be done here, it needs a much more detailed plan on what it means to, uh, well, on the detailed steps we take to add a Java version, those are relatively fresh in our minds. We just added Java 21. It's a matter of me extracting those, documenting them. But then the much more challenging one is, what are the steps we take to drop a Java version uh, and that means going back to the time when we dropped Java 8 support to see, okay, what were the steps we took and what are the changes that will be needed in current code in order to allow us to do a smooth transition when in October of 2024, we stop supporting Java 11 and go strictly to Java 17 and Java 21. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. yes, there's still much more to do here. Uh, now, as for the top plugin testing with Java 21, I counted earlier, I found 44 instead of 36 that are officially tested with Java 21 in the okay, intro. So, yes, so now your number is very different from mine because I get a count of 70 of the top 250. Already merged and working? Yes, already, already on the master branch. So let me do a double check. I'll do a Ooh. grep minus big, let's see, grep jdk colon dot star 21 star slash uh jenkins file so if it's oh are all of the ones you are counting from the list we had previously or not uh they're as far as i know they're from the top 250 so i think they're okay. from the list but i could be wrong so it's your measures and my measures are different. That means I need to go do some more I research prefer yours. to understand. Yeah, but <laughs> but mine could be wrong, right? So leave it. Leave your forty-four there because you were using a consistent counting method. Um, so what uh, I see well, is, I know that ahead, I have. Oh, I, I know that we have on my list. So I've got a list of a hundred and let's see. In my directory, I've got. 113 repositories in the directory. And in that directory, there are, oh, sorry, just a minute. I just ran this. 43 of them that I have, 43 of the 113 that are definitely not merged to master yet. 
mm-hmm. are not merged to their primary branch. So, so there are for sure roughly one third, a little more than one third, no, roughly one third of the repositories I'm tracking where they haven't merged the change to the master branch. The job is passing or is, is there, yep. but it's not been merged. And then like your number, the 13 that your cur- cursor's on right now, I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yeah, exactly. About that same number. Oh, cool. I count, I count 15, <laughs> I count 15 that were on my list okay. of plugins that don't yet operate with Java 21. And so, so that we're, we're in the same rough, rough zone on that number. Got it. Thank you, Mark. Uh, oh, that text changed. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I had written something. So ask it, you know, regarding the S three nineteen X, for example. So, it's not uh, in the official uh, general availability release yet. Uh, so, so JDK twenty one dot dot one plus twelve, but it's back in the JDK twenty one o dot one plus uh, twelve uh, plus one something EA beta. So it's still showing up in the um, uh, nightly builds, and I think it will be like that for quite a while because uh, it's not, not it's still not passing the general availability test that's why it's not showing in the official release but that's not really a problem as we are supplying images in preview mode for all the platforms where the general availability jdk timurin build is not available yet so everybody should be able to use jdk 21 be the preview version of a ga version it's available well and and impressively power pc is available in a released version yes and even arch 64 for alpine which is not one of their main target but right it's there go figure <laughs> <laughs> and we are still struggling to get the urls right in each and every repo where we're using tamarin so damien is working on a way to use tamarin's api in you know, order to find the right url to download binaries when I say working, is working in um, a fork of update AI. So the pull request will show up one of these days and should help us having something easier to work with. Good. And there's a general move. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, we would like, well, some of us would like, not we as the whole community, but some of us would like to um not rely on the docker images supplied by Timurin anymore but you their binaries but we'll talk about that um in a few minutes so now let's switch to docker images so um up to now so we were using uh, Timurin's docker images and frankly in the last month what we've seen is that um the Docker images supplied by Timurin are pretty late. Uh, they come in late into the process when the binaries are already available on GitHub in the release section. It's it takes sometimes up to two weeks to get the corresponding Docker image. So it's kind of a problem for us, especially because we are using update CLI in lots of cases. So update CLI detect that there is a new version of a JDK build for Timurin, and then it tries to verify to check that the Docker image corresponding to that binary is available on Docker Hub, and it's not. So it's failing. So we don't get the update we would like to get. And that's a pity. That's one of the reasons why we should maybe switch to directly use a Debian or something base image and then build on top of it an image with just importing the uh, Timurin binary. Ever since you're there, would you like to tell us anything about uh, that move from using Tamarin images to use a base image on top of which we install the Tamarin binaries. Um, we have both situation currently on agent, for example, for GDK uh, 21 preview image, we are using, we are downloading binaries that we are copying and settings up on, uh, on a base image. So the move won't be uh, won't require a lot of effort and it should be transparent for users since we are uh, from the we are copying uh, the GDK and yeah 
it's running uh, on the base image. So there shouldn't yeah. be any big difference. No, I think in the end, the users will get the very same thing, except they will get it much sooner uh, with the latest move. Just yeah, because Tamarin is pretty... Yeah. Yeah. It will also simplify the dependency management for updating uh, image and yeah. So, win-win. Uh, Should I'd be say. a good move. We'll see. Uh, then on the controller, we had a weekly uh, last week, like every week and this week too. And we also had an LTS 2.426.1. And something is breaking or it's a breaking change. Uh, Mark, I know how much you love CentOS 7. So you removed CentOS container images in the latest uh, LTS, right? Correct. That's Actually, a good thing. They, I think they were removed a little bit before that, but yes, we no longer deliver Official. CentOS 7 images. The container images, the the they they are they exist still, but they will are no longer updated, and there will be no updates in the future. Yeah, so we can and close, uh, can close related issue in C Docker repository. Oh yes, yes, uh, absolutely. It's, I thought I'd closed it. Absolutely. Yeah, cool thing. And people still using CentOS 7, if you can, please <laughs> switch to a more recent operating system. You'll do yourself good by doing that. Right. Hervé, you also uh, brought a breaking chance because now uh, Java 17 is a default in the Windows images, right? Yeah, uh, the change has been introduced in previous weekly, but it's the yep. first, first SBTS with Java 17 as default. Uh, we continue publishing. We are now publishing uh, both GDK 11 and GDK 17 image. So users can still use uh, Java 11 if they need to with, yep. uh, for uh, a Windows controller, which is not that frequent, I think. But yeah, and uh, there are, uh, so most of the changes are from um, come from the refactor process. Uh, we have now the possibility to build multiple GTK. We can uh, easily add a new uh, uh, Windows version, like LTS uh, 2022, add new flavor, like nano server, if needed. I don't think so, but yeah. And uh, they have now a proper set of tags instead of just two tags. Uh, every time mm -hmm. the same and without any Jenkins version in them. So users can now pin their Jenkins version if they use uh, Windows for controllers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And when you say refactor, uh, I think most of the job is going from a PS1 uh, build script to um, Docker Bake. Yeah. That's right? Not, it's, I'm using, uh, I switched to a process like uh, the one on Docker agent and Docker ingrain agent, which is using a Docker compose file okay. as source for the image definition and tag to you to publish. So that should be easier to maintain too. That's pretty yeah. cool. And when uh, Docker bake will be supported uh, on Windows, uh, switch will be easier as we can mm -hmm. use the Docker compose file to build with Docker bake. So no need to create a bake ICL file for Windows. Okay, pretty cool. So uh, for the end users, what they have to re remind uh, is that if you don't use a specific suffix at the end of your image, you will now switch from JDK 11 to JDK 17. So beware. Important not to um, tags have, have changed. So before there wasn't any mention of LTSC mm -hmm. in the tags. So if you if Windows users don't change their, uh, uh, their Docker uh, commands, uh, oh. they will remain on old image. They have to change the nice. tags. Hopefully they are reading the change logs. <laughs> we'll see. I feel <laughs> Uh, then we updated the Debian Bookworm version. We also changed from JDK um, 
general availability version, which was 21.01, uh, sorry, 21 plus 35 to 21.01 plus 12. And I saw earlier today that there is a JDK 21.01 plus 12.1 uh, in the work. So <laughs> more work to do, or maybe it will be fully automatic. We'll see. Uh, then, Mark, you introduced the very last version of the JDK 17, so 1709 underscore 9. Uh, same for the JDK 11 by Hervé, and we also bumped UB9 to another version, and UB8 also. Um, then, I think it was last week, um, Marvin Ruder, sorry if I mispronounced your name, um, he came in into the SSH agent um, repo and entered a new issue. Well, there are some uh, general availability images available for uh, Tamarin, and they are, this is not reflected into the SSH agent repo. How come? Please do something for me. And we asked him, uh, well, would you like to contribute? You know, you could be inspired by all the reports from the Jenkins organization. And he did it, he made it. Uh, so he made a pull request, which has been merged, but which hasn't shown yet in a release, if I'm not mistaken. Right, Ave? Um, uh, I don't think we released a new image, yeah. uh, but we can. I don't think so. But um, so we now he updated a few things and we now have for uh, the SSH agent uh, images where the JDK21 general availability image is available and all the images with previews for platform where it's not available, like the S319X, for example. Good work, excellent work, Maven, Marvin. Uh, thanks a lot. We do like that kind of interaction with the um, uh, people from the community starting with an issue and then proposing a PR is the dream of <laughs> a maintainer. Anyhow, on the um, uh, Windows, uh, sorry, on the Docker agent, we had a Windows script cleanup. So I guess it's also you, Hervé? Yes, uh, that was some requests that were getting uh, since some time. Um, see, I, I have some stuff to do again. Uh, I want to replicate what I've done on the controller image, uh, like using the Docker Compose file for the tags. Mm -hmm. But mainly what I've, uh, was, what I'm working on is merging both Docker agent and Docker input agent, uh, using a single repository and a single Docker file for both and allowing us to publish uh, both these images at the same time, instead of publishing Docker agents and waiting for the internet publications and going on the input agent, waiting for the update plea, yeah, request merging it, publishing. Yeah, so everything will be done at once. Uh, I've got the Windows Builder uh, running and publishing images as I want, and I have to look to do the same for the Win Linux build. And then. Okay, that yeah, that's a very interesting project. We've been talking about that for months now. And when it will be done, yeah, uh, it will be a, a less tedious task to get everything synchronized and uh, published as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for that. Now, for the inbound agent, we had a few version bumps here and there. And so we got uh, a few new releases, or just one new release icon. Yeah. I think, yeah. Just two, one a new release. To... Yeah, it's a parent image, I think. Yep. Uh, and that's all that I had except for the agenda problem. So I won't be available on December the 19th. So if any one of you uh, would like to host the meeting, that's uh, fine with me. If not, we can just cancel it, cancel it or postpone or whatever. As you please, uh, we has we still have some time to discuss that uh, asynchronously if you want to. So no need to raise your hand just now and say, "Oh, I'll do that." We'll see. Yeah. Is there I'm, anything else? Yeah, I'm even willing to raise my hand now, so I think I can cover it. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. Yep, that's cool. Uh, thanks for your help. Is there anything else you would like to, to discuss? Would you have a comment or an announcement to make or anything related to the Platform SIG meeting? 
I'm good. Okay, I take that for a no, so let's wrap it up. Thanks a lot for attending. The recording should be available from 24 to 48 hours. And see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.